Hello everyone! With today's episode I am starting a series about famous polars from various fields. Today this list will be opened by a genius in the field of construction and invention. First of all I would like to apologize for my weak English because I am Polish, yes, and I am learning English and I try. So let's go! An engineering genius and pioneer in the construction of modern suspension bridges. He links the States of America and strengthens neighborly ties by building steel spans which connect them. He breaks the boundaries of conventional bridge construction as well as the imagination. Artist of concrete and steel. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rudolf Modzejewski. Yeah, so... Okay. Born in Bohnia, Rudolf, known as Dolcio, spends his early childhood in the theatrical dressing rooms of his mother, Helena Modzejewska. His parents, who are in an informal relationship, separate and he is abducted by his father, Gustav Zimayer. Some years later, his mother succeeds in ransoming her son. At age 4, the child picks up a screwdriver and dismantles a door lock. When he reaches 14, he dreams of taking part in the building of the planet Panama Coal. Slightly over a decade later, he builds his first bridge in the United States. He undertakes studies at the prestigious École Nationale de Pont et Chute in Paris. In 1885, he graduates with a destruction in engineering, even though he had only passed the entrance examination on his second try. In 1893, he begins working for himself. He sets up the construction company Modzejewski and Masters in Chicago, which continues to operate to this day. He opens branches in New York and New Orleans. Three years later, he connected the states of Iowa and Illinois, building a bridge spanning the Mississippi River. A rail line runs along its upper deck with the lower level carrying a road for automobiles. An additional swing bridge opens the space up to shipping. He soon repeats this success with a continuous truss railway bridge in Tibis. An avalanche of praise and project proposals follows. The Professional Association of Engineers names Mojejewski Engineer of the Year in 1903. Americans in a press pool call him the greatest bridge builder. Years later, David Plowden likes Mojejewski projects to cathedrals of steel, monuments to the American Industrial Revolution. Journalists refer to him the Napoleon of bridge builders. Mojejewski enjoys his position as a leader in the field. He celebrates American sesquicentennial by opening the Benjamin Franklin Bridge in Philadelphia in 1926. Its suspended roadbed is 533 meters long, at the time the longest such object in the world. In 1929 he builds the Ambassador Bridge in Detroit surprising his own record with a construction over 560 meters in length. Mojejewski builds nearly 40 bridges over the continents, greatest waterways specializing in suspension structures. He uses the newest technology and materials, innovate steel alloys, reinforced concrete for the paying of roadways and flexible steel pylons rather than the traditional stone towers. From his position of a working engineer, Mojejewski achieves a reputation as an expert. He takes part in numerous commissions investigating construction accidents. He establishes, for example, the case of the collapse of the St. Lawrence Railway Bridge in Quebec, one of the greatest tragedies in the history of bridge building. Before taking off on his well-deserved retirement, Majewski teaches others the craft of bridge building. 
One of his students is Joseph B. Strauss, who would go on to design the famous Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. Mojejewski dies in the garden of his Hollywood villa on 26 June 1940. I hope that video was interesting for you. If you like it, please click subscription and like. And now, see you soon. Of course, greetings from Poland.